Good morning, families. Buenos dias, familias. Today is April 20th, 2020. Did you have a good weekend? What did you do? Did anyone get a chance to do mindful breathing? Let's take a breath together. I have my vase and I have a spoon. Let's breathe in and out. Last week, I talked to so many friends on the phone. I got to see Selena and Partik's faces. I even talked to Jason for the first time. If you missed my call last week, don't worry. I'll be calling again this week. I can't wait to talk to you. Last week, we also had some new friends on ST Math, like Zion and Tay, Diana, Mikkel, and then Leandro, Naya, not Niall, were also using iStation. I also saw lots of you doing your homework pages, like Selena and Ariadne and Christopher. You are all such hard workers. Keep using your strong student muscles and your super smart brains at home. Today I want us to think about what we are grateful for. Grateful means what do you appreciate? What makes you say thank you? I am grateful for playing games and laughing at home. I also appreciate being outside. Did you see the picture I sent last week from the garden? It had Nettie and Neymar and Nathalio, Carly, Zion. Remember when we were digging and cooking and eating and playing in the garden? I definitely am grateful for the garden. Oh, what? What did you say, Giraffe? Oh, Giraffe is grateful for our quiet time music. Do you remember at school when we would take out the stuffies during quiet time and listen to our music? Should we listen to one of our quiet time songs right now? Thank you for sharing, Giraffe. Yeah, we can be thankful for music. Today, I thought I'd invite some very special friends to share what they are grateful for. Can you guess who I've brought to talk to us? No, not President Barack Obama. No, not Simone Biles. Yes, that's right, some of our specials teachers. We have Miss Slater, Miss Susan, Coach Ramey, Coach E. Let's hear what they're grateful for. Good morning, Garfield. What am I grateful for? I am grateful for my doggy, Crash, who's sunbathing right now, she heard her name. I am grateful for time with my daughter. Say hi, Amina. Hello. I am grateful for my garden. Hi, Kid and Garden. Uh, this is Mr. E, and I just wanted to say hello to all of you, and I am so thankful for my friend, my doggie, Lucy. <laughs> her carrot and her monkey. Um, she has been with me for 11 years now, and so thankful for her. And I'm also thankful for all of my family and their photos and the memories that I make with them. And most of all, I'm thankful for you, and I hope you're well and take care of yourselves. I can't wait to see your smiling faces. Hi, Miss Megan's class. I wanted to say that I miss you all so much and I wish I could be seeing you every day. I hope you're all healthy, uh, staying active, doing your work. And uh, I wanted to say what I was grateful for. Uh, I'm grateful for the nature. I had the chance to go outside, go for a walk. I'm grateful for being able to bake a lot of fun cookies, uh, bread, all the other things, make a lot of food. And yeah, I hope I can see you all soon. Hi, kindergarten. I, it's Miss Slater. I miss you guys so much. Um, but I wanted to tell you all that I am grateful today for my family. And I wanted to introduce you guys. There's my husband, Brett. 
Jesus. And my little boy, Archer. Archer, can you say hi? I'm going around all this stuff, so I need you. Oh, there he goes. All right, well, I love you guys, and I miss you guys, and I'm so excited to see you again. Bye. Wow, thank you, specials teachers. There are so many things to be grateful for. Taking the time to think about what we are thankful for can actually put us in a better mood and it can make us feel better about ourselves. What are you grateful for? What makes you say thank you? Think about it this week. Draw a picture and send it to me or you can tell it to me when we talk on the phone. All right, it's time for me to go. Come on, giraffe, say bye. See you next time.